Aloha, and welcome to the fourth season of the Dulce America video podcast, now simply known as Dulce America. My name is Bing Futch, and as for the past three years, I've been your host uh, through tips and tricks, workshops, road trips, interviews, and special performances and demonstrations. That'll be no different this year, and uh, we're looking forward to a lot of excitement since we have a lot of stuff on the calendar, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Starting off with this month, going off to Kentucky, to Pennsylvania, to Anaheim, and then finally to Key West, Florida for the Key West Dulcimer Fest. Lots of fun to be had. But to start things off, I know that in December we had a lot of mountain dulcimers join the ranks. Well, welcome to the family. And you're probably trying to figure out how to get acquainted with this wonderful new instrument, so I've got just the thing. A sneak preview of a video that I'm working on for full craft instruments. It's called Getting to Know the Mountain Dulcimer. And I'll show it to you here in several different parts, but we'll kick things off with the intro and very basic things like how to get your strings on the instrument and uh, other stuff like that. So enjoy and we'll see you on the flip side. Appalachian Mountain Dulcimer is America's only native stringed folk instrument, created just over 200 years ago by settlers who had arrived in the newly created United States. Much like the people who fashioned it, the instrument has roots in a number of countries, from Germany and Sweden to Norway and Hungary. But the Mountain Dulcimer, also known as a Lap Dulcimer, is a uniquely American creation. In this video, you'll learn the basics of playing this beautiful instrument, from tuning up to playing a tune. But first, let's take a look at the anatomy of a mountain dulcimer. Mountain dulcimers come in many shapes and sizes, but the two most traditional shapes are the hourglass and the teardrop. The wood on top of the dulcimer is called the soundboard. These openings in the soundboard are called tone holes and can also be many different shapes and sizes. Running down the middle of the instrument is the fingerboard. On top of that are strings, which stretch from the headstock down to the tailpiece. Dividing the fingerboard into sections are frets. Tuners are located in the headstock and can be wooden pegs or metal gears. The end of the fingerboard closest to the head is called the nut, while the end closest to the tailpiece is called the bridge. The shallow fingerboard area by the bridge is called the strum hollow. And the sides and back of the dulcimer are named accordingly. Many instruments have strap buttons that allow for a strap to be connected. Some instruments have a pickup installed inside the body. In this case, the strap button at the tailpiece is also an instrument jack where you can plug in an audio cable for amplification. Now that we've gotten acquainted with the different parts of the mountain dulcimer, let's get ready to play. All right then, that was part one of getting started with the Mountain Dulcimer. And if you are just getting started, uh, the rest of the video that you'll see in later episodes here will help you to get rolling and even playing tunes, reading tablature, stringing them up, that type of stuff. So thank you for watching and thank you very much for those of you who have donated to the production cause. Uh, we are taking donations to help with things like bandwidth, server space, and malfunctioning cameras. It's just a year old, and, and I think we've killed it. You can't see it, but I can see it, and it's just cracking me up, but in a sad way. Anyway, if you'd like to donate, go to dulcamerica.com and look for the big blue uh, donate button, or make donation button, I think it says. Also, at the end of every post on dulcamerica.com, there's a donate uh, deal. Or you can go to PayPal and send your donation to jobentertainment at yahoo.com. Uh, if you enjoy Dulce America, not only the new stuff, but also the three years of archives we have, even $2 or $5 every once in a while will help us to keep moving forward and bringing you more adventures like we've got starting tomorrow as I head off to snowy Bardstown, Kentucky. 
<laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, as usual, mahalo, nui loa.